Yeah, I get to design buildings, but sometimes getting to that final product really sucks. Don't get me wrong, I love being an architect, but sometimes it just isn't very fun. So here it goes, 10 reasons that make me hate being an architect. We work really long hours, like really long hours. For a lot of reasons that I'll talk about coming up, architects are constantly working overtime. 50 hour weeks are pretty typical, 60 hour weeks are not uncommon. It's pretty rare for an architect to actually work a straight 40 hour week. And even though we're typically working a lot of hours, we almost never get paid for them. I'm lucky enough to get paid overtime at my job right now, but that's gonna stop if and when I get promoted to the next level. And I didn't get paid overtime at my last job that I worked at for six years. Paid overtime was something I was looking for when I switched jobs, and it drastically reduced the pool of architecture firms I could look at. Unsurprisingly, all of those hours bring a lot of stress. Between the impending deadlines and the constant pressure to come up with great new ideas, burnout, anxiety, and stress are wildly common among architects. I've always felt like I was someone that didn't get stressed very easily, but even I wasn't immune to this industry. Working with consultants and engineers can bring a whole new level of frustration. Structural engineers, we love you. But MEP engineers? Too often it feels like the engineers we hire are behind, aren't as detail oriented as we want them to be, work fewer hours than we do and get paid more. Putting in as much work as we do just for your mechanical engineer to run a duct straight through your stair just because they weren't paying attention can be really rage inducing. You're constantly being told why your ideas are bad in excruciatingly specific detail. 90% of the ideas you come up with at work are gonna be terrible. And the other 10% that are actually good might not be the best fit for this project. So much of the design process is presenting one of your ideas to your project team, or sometimes your whole firm, and just having them tell you exactly why we shouldn't do it. It's just a continuation of your critiques from architecture school, but sadly, being this specific in why something is bad or why it doesn't work is the best way in helping someone improve their design skills. In architecture, you can never really be done. Design is something that doesn't really have a, an end point to it. You can always refine a design, iterate, go into more detail, try something else. Because of this, it's easy to just keep working. Even when you think you're done working, your boss might tell you to keep studying a little bit more or why don't you try some more options? Truly two of my biggest pet peeves in architecture. <laughs> now speaking of design, you'll be lucky if you get to keep doing it throughout your career. Most architects are barely spending any time drawing or designing. You end up spending most of your time in meetings, responding to never ending emails, answering questions, or just in an Excel spreadsheet. You end up becoming more of a customer service agent than an architect. And even if you do get to design, not everything is always that fun. Uh, sure, designing stadiums and airports, schools, or trendy restaurants can be cool. But don't forget, somebody has to design warehouses, data centers, parking garages, and the mattress firm that's on every other corner. Architecture is just so damn competitive at every level. A lot of architects have egos. It's a stereotype and it's true. And that leads to people competing to get their design selected on the project and competing to move up the corporate ladder. Now this gets worse the bigger the firm is and it's especially worse in bigger cities like Chicago or New York. Not only are the people competitive, but the firms are competitive too. Clients are constantly trying to get their projects built faster and architects just keep accepting those timelines because if we don't do it, someone else will. This just ends up screwing all the employees and perpetuating the cycle of fast deadlines and long hours. You're gonna make mistakes and you're never gonna stop. No matter how much experience you have, you're gonna make mistakes. And even after you learn from your past mistakes, you're just gonna make new ones. Those mistakes almost always cost money and you'll probably think they're gonna get you fired. And because of how fast architecture changes, there are always new things to learn and new opportunities to make mistakes. And finally, you live by the sword and you die by the sword. The better you are at your job, the more messy and difficult projects that you'll get put on because they know you can handle it. And you can. And every time you do, it'll just perpetuate that cycle of getting put on the worst of worst projects because you can do it. All right, there you have it. 10 reasons that make me hate being an architect. Now I'm sure you could come up with a similar list for most professions. And honestly, I'd rather be an architect than a lot of other things. But sometimes you just need to vent. I'm sure plenty of you can relate. Let me know what I missed in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.